So in this problem, you have 2021 walnuts <laughs> placed in a circle. And then for every K from 1 to 2021, you swap the two walnuts adjacent to K. And you would like to show that at some point, one of the swaps had a number less than K and a number greater than K. So for example, uh, first move doesn't do anything. Um, So if you involve Wana 1 or 2021... Oh, never mind, that's not true. Okay, I probably need a board. Let's get this up. <laughs> All the garbage I wrote for IMO2 is still there. Beautiful. TPS. What is TPS? Is 50? No, no, no. It actually, I thought it doesn't display that anymore. I thought I changed it so that it shows like the amount to the next level. Because I've only put in like 10 with multiplicity. There'll be more later. Okay, so uh, let's, let's do like four. Okay, actually, what would it take for... Hmm. Okay, let me do three first. Actually, three is stupid because two always. Let's do four. So. The first move is kind of silly and doesn't do much. Oh, nothing showing up. <sighs> okay. So you first you swap here. And then you swap one and three. Okay, so I guess the small cases might be too small to do much useful stuff. But okay, so this promise is one is not adjacent. Like, if not, then one is adjacent to two, right? And then, or one is not adjacent to two. And then one swaps something that doesn't touch two. And then two swap something that doesn't touch one. So I guess like the worst case for the first two moves is if it's something like... So swap, swap, and then three swaps, one and two. Or something like that. Oh, team problem solving, I see. Okay, but let me let me note that first. So one not adjacent to two. Thank you, Math Noob, for the follow. Yeah, his starting numbers are not that good. Cause 
Yes, the heuristically you expect the important swaps to happen when what like the number is closer to the middle one. Well, okay, let let me think about this from the perspective of a particular walnut K. So if I have some fixed walnut K, and then there's like a bunch of stuff is kind of shuffling around, because why not? Then there's two types of things. There's like things that are smaller than K minus one, for which there's like swaps happening, and there's stuff that's like bigger than K minus one, for which you don't, oh, that one doesn't really care. Um, so I'm gonna highlight in green the ones that are like smaller than K or something. And then, this swap. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not that good though, because this stuff is. What does that one zero pattern look like though? If I do, if I do that stupid threshold thing that we did a few streams ago. Um... If the swap never changes things, then oh, actually it's invariant under oh anyone's. <sighs> then it's saying that one and zero never swap. I don't remember why that one zero trick was nice though. <laughs> Actually, oh, no, this is not, this is not awful, actually. I actually kind of like this. So the idea is the following, all right? We're going to start out with all zero. And then the pr process is as follows. Um, at each step, we need to change a zero to a one, such that the two neighbors are the same. So, you know, on the first step, you can do anything. And then... The question is, is this even possible? So for four walnuts, it's actually possible because you can do one, 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 one. But it might not be possible for three. Yeah, it's not possible for three. Uh, so if I look at some parody garbage, is it possible for five? Let's just, let's look at five. I feel like it's not possible for five, right? You can't do it with five. Uh, why? <sighs> Can you do it for six? I guess I got it for four, but I feel like that didn't feel like it was going to continue. Hmm. 
Okay. No, you can you can do it for all the even numbers by some parody crap like this. Thankfully, 2021 is odd. Yeah. I feel like a statement might be true for even numbers. Any is statement true for even? Hang on. If I'm not crazy, maybe that means tells me how to construct a counterexample for even. Oh, I'm a stupid head. Okay, it's not true for even numbers. <laughs> okay, so I feel like this is on the right track then. I think this process is equivalent to the original, and that means that. Okay, so I'm inserting ones. After I insert the first one, there is a chunk of five zeros. And after I split again, do I just look at the parity of the chunks? So if you have a chunk of length one, it can you can toss it. If you have a chunk of length two, like a, a two chunk of length two, you die. You have a chunk of length three, you split it. You have a chunk of length four, you die. Is that it? I think that's it. So after first move, you have a chunk of n minus one zeros, and then split. It always splits into an even and an odd. No, sorry, I lied. It splits into even, even, or odd. Odd. Wait, wait, wait. It's odd, odd, right? No, hang on. This is n minus one is even. So yeah, even odd. Okay, and then I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're on zero. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so this one, this will never disappear. The end. <laughs> I have achieved honorable mention. <laughs> <sighs> Disaster.